Hi, hi, hi! Oh my god, I forgot how wonderful the lighting coming from this window is. Unfortunately, I'm sitting right here, so then it's bad, but like, gorgine. We are in Utah, obviously. You guys saw that yesterday. It is almost one o'clock. We've had like a pretty busy morning, honestly. TJ and I had to do some tech stuff this morning, and that was pretty much it, but it kept me pretty busy. I just got downstairs and I'm gonna edit, finish editing my Vlogmas for today. I edited like some of it yesterday on the plane. Um, so I'm gonna do that quick and then unpack. I have not done that yet and I really want to. And then I think at three o'clock, so this side of the mountain where we are on is not open yet. I do believe uh, one of the lifts opens tomorrow though, so that'll be nice. However, this area down there, so you can see like that's the little lodge area and like this is a parking lot. And then the, I think there's like one, two, three, some people ski down that because they're insane, four, five trails. They're really easy, but um, I think we're gonna go over there today. That opens at three o'clock and then it's like night skiing. So maybe I'll do that, get some runs in. It's exciting. So I'm gonna edit right now. It's, like I said, almost one, and then I will be back when it's time to unpack. <laughs> All right, it's around 1.40 now. It is snowing so much outside, like you can't even see. Oh, you can't even see what I showed you guys before. It's snowing so much! Oh my God, it's so pretty. Snow is so pretty, um, <laughs> but it's also so cold. But we do love that, right? I'm gonna unpack. Okay. I feel like I didn't show you guys what I brought, so I can kind of just do that now. Ski pants for warm days, very specifically. I will put all of my ski stuff in the bottom drawer. This ski base layer. <laughs> in the old video when I was editing it, I was calling it an under layer. I didn't realize until I was editing and watching it back. I was like, why was I calling it an under layer? I brought two t-shirts. This one um, is actually TJ's dad's from last year, but I needed a t-shirt and that's Larry and Leon. Curb your enthusiasm stands, rise up. <laughs> so I'll put my t-shirts together just for like lounging. Sometimes I will also use that as a, another layer in skiing, depending on how cold it is outside. And then I have this little cute waffle pajama set from Lunya. I think it's called Lunya or Lunya. I'm not really sure the pronunciation, but I love it and I'm obsessed. I want to buy their entire website. I feel like Lunya is a better pronunciation than Lunya. <laughs> Lunya business. I'm gonna call it Lunya. And then obviously I've got my Pete's. So I'll put, I'll make like a little PJ section. Sounds like TJ is trying to get in. Okay. Oh, my girl. She wanted to come down? Yeah, I think we're gonna go um, at like 2.30. Okay. So. I'm uploading now. <laughs> so I came down to start getting ready. Okay. Because it's 1.45. Are you excited? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm unpacking right now. And then I have this sweater, it's thrifted, very snowy, snow vibes. <laughs> Sometimes when I say things, I'm just like, you're literally 30, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Snow vibes, God, <laughs> why do you watch me? Another base layer, these are also base layers. This is like my go-to. These are from Fabletics. I've literally had these for probably six or seven years. They're an OG Fabletic and they are my favorite. I love them so, so much. And then this is a long sleeve turtleneck from Free People and it has the hole in the thumbs. So I like putting that around my thumbs. And then my gloves, this white long sleeve shirt. Brought this t-shirt only because I want like a cool pick in the snow. This was getting so scared of the fire. What, why? It kept the fire popped. And then I have this shirt. Fun fact, I've had this for probably that was one of the first Christmas gifts that I got. Yeah, what year was that? 2015. I've had this shirt since- 2014. No, 2015. 2015. I've had this shirt since 2015 and TJ bought it for me as a Christmas gift. And then I have my hats. 
I narrowed it down. I brought this hat, this hat, and then like my little, I don't know what you would call this, like a headband. I call it my Russian cap. So I'll put that in the snow drawer. All my hats. Oh, all my underwear. All my underwears. These are my socks for skiing. I accidentally only brought one pair, so. And then here are all of my socks for lounging. My snow boots. Um, these are truly incredible. They're uh, by Ugg. And I got them for when we did our cross country trip in 2020. And like anytime it's cold, there's snow, I will wear these, they're amazing. They're definitely pricier, I think they were like 250, but um, honestly, look at the inside of these. It's like you're wearing an Ugg, but it's made actually for the snow. <laughs> if you're looking for a good pair of snow boots, I would recommend those. I've had them for like a year and a half now and I've gotten good use out of them. What are you doing? Just laying with pee. Listening? Well, I can't get naked until you're done <laughs> filming. Let's see what my pulse sock says. And I need to ch change my clothes <laughs> to go skiing. Well, good thing we have time. 92? Is that bad? It's usually like 99. What's yours? What? I thought like when it goes under 95, that's bad. Oh my god! How did you burn this? What does it even tell you? I have no idea, but I just know <laughs> for COVID it was like, if it goes under this, like, go to the hospital. What do I do? Put your finger in. It's not doing anything. What should your pulse ox be? 95% or higher. Do you feel okay? 92! What the hell? We do yours again. Yeah, you shouldn't have stuff like this. <laughs> well, I have it for if like we were to ever get COVID and then we would know. No, what? Yours is 93. <gasps> I guess we have to go to the hospital. I wonder if it's because we're like adjusting to the elevation. What does a pulse oximeter <laughs> <laughs> read? It's the amount of oxygen in your blood. It says if your home reading is lower than 95%, call your healthcare provider. <laughs> Okay, better call him. Okay, so I typed in what should your pulse ox be and then it shows like a little blurb what I just read you and then immediately under that is an article that says, should you really have a pulse ox... ox <laughs> Why can't I say it now? Pulse oximeter? Yeah, pulse oximeter at home. One? <laughs> no. Can your pulse ox be lower at higher altitudes? Like, what does it matter? High altitudes can cause low oxygen saturation levels. It happens because of low atmospheric pressure at high altitudes. We're getting ready to do what? We're pow pow skiing today. Pow pow skiing? Pow pow, it's gonna be all pow pow fresh. Really? Freshies. Baby. They don't go down it with the thingy? They did last night, but we probably got Ooh. six or eight inches on top. And it's the first ski of the season. First ski. We're here for the first ski. Are you excited? First opening day. Opening day. Creamy. Better than baseball. That's right. Because the Red Sox <laughs> suck. <Boston>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paris, you can't come with us, but we love you and I'll think about you the whole time. Today, we schlep. The schleppy kids. We were driving down. What, sh what is this one called? Sundown. Sundown. I'm so excited. I'm feeling nervous. You know, I'm not feeling nervous. Are you? But you're like a, this is like riding a bike for you. But you never know the first time. I know. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great. Good. I just get a little nervous because there's like a lot of people. Yeah. And they're like, it's the first day. No, it's so, so like many people there, snowy. You go get right in line, baby. Oh my gosh. Eee! Oh my gosh. Well, here we go. See you on the slopes. We are going on to our fifth run. I just did, that was like a blue one, right? But the snow is so freaking deep. <laughs> My legs hurt so bad. Tim forgot his ski pass at the house. So he's just been sneaking on. He didn't even realize that he didn't bring it. So he's trying to sneak his way on so that he doesn't have to go schlep back and get it. First day. Oh, where's my pulse ox? I wonder what it's at now. I feel unwell. Oh, my pulse ox is 97 now. <sighs> we just got back in. We were 
are the first 50 people in line and they gave us gifts. No way. Yeah. What number will you get now? Seven, yeah. The seventh lift. You're kidding me. And so they gave us these. You gotta look at it. First chair project. <laughs> Years. Pretty cool. These are awesome. So they gave them to the first 50 oh, people. I missed it. So I put mine on because, because. <laughs> guess where my pass was? Here. At home. So I had to talk my way on the lift six times. Well, the first time it like acted like you scanned it. It did. And then that's when you realized you were like, shit, I didn't even bring my pass. Why did it scan? <laughs> so they were having this problems. Awesome. With the. Um, oh, good. So we have with, problems. Yeah. So once he got it on, they were like, okay. Yeah, but then when he tried doing it for the first time, when they started like re-scanning again, they were like, mm, maybe it's your pacemaker <laughs> that it's scanning. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, it made it the first few times. I don't understand. <laughs> he said, well, maybe it's your pacemaker. I'm like, I'm not that old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pee. Yeah, you, you, uh -huh. you go poopy? You have poopy? You get a greenie? You do? Oh. You get oh, a greenie. Oh. Doesn't look I'm like it. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it was a We've done this like scene. 10 times today. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it goes. Why is it going? What the heck? Did you take your blood pressure? I did. It was perfect. Should I take mine? <laughs> yeah, you want to? Yeah, I'll take mine too. You could take it the whole time you're here and see because what happens. <laughs> Just, um... Enabling my hypochondria. Yeah. She's not doing Why is it that. not working? See if it works for Laura. 94. Perfect. How come she's alive? 94, 96. I need that. You need that too. It's pretty fun. I know, yeah. Let's do our blood pressures now. Yeah. The next one I can eat. There we go. It's coming. That's what he said. <laughs> 93! Yeah! We're all, yours went up, three. Yeah. Wanna do your blood pressure? Yes. Sure. Everybody does their BP. TJ? Yeah, you'll have to sit in this chair. Oh, okay. Like you gotta get your arm off. Right? Okay. Yeah, these are a little scary. These are from the hospital in even these. <laughs> these little trays. Don't get white coat syndrome. I don't think I have no, it. No, I have Pete's. I have Pete's. Oh, not white. Pete coat syndrome. I always get it at the doctor that I, they made me get one at home. I don't know how tight you make it is because I usually leave them just for me. Yeah, it'll be alright. Yeah. fit her. You get a little iron. Does that feel tight? No, oh, yeah, it's good. Okay, so they say you put your arm down like that, I guess. Like you don't tuck. Yep. And then you hit this thing. We've got to do it three times. Take the average. 113 over 72. Oh, no. You're beautiful. That is like perfect. You can do it again if you want. Just you hit the power again. button twice. Yeah. 113 over 67 this time. Oh my god, you're wonderful. 113? You. Isn't it supposed to be like 120? Yeah, Eddie? but yeah. that's even better. Just this is what we right do. Right you guys want to know what we do in Utah? It's <laughs> medical stuff. Oh my god. 119? 119, wait. 119 over 70? 70, 78. Great. Beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful. A queen. Good, Your turn. Do you guys do this <laughs> at your family holidays? <laughs> this is like my dream. <laughs> Don't, you can't do that. <laughs> 116 over 71. Good. It's great. Yeah. Are you ready? Well, now that you're thinking about her. <laughs> it normally gets higher when you're here, right? Way higher. Because of the elevation. That's yeah. why I missed you on blood pressure. 129 over 77. Not terrible. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Let's go for the second yeah, reading. Not too bad. This would be like a fun job at a hospital. <laughs> like, I'd like to be hired just to do this. You'd be so bored after the second person. No, I'd be so excited because it's like a game. You know, I'd be like, what's it going to be? <laughs> well, 121 over 79. This per that's the perfect the king one of, right there. The king of health. The epitome of blood pressure. It's like rain sounds. Paris gets so jealous if like TJ and I touch, like if he hugs me, she'll cry. <laughs> and we just held hands and then she got up and went over, come here. Oh no, what a nice day. I love you. 
I left my camera upstairs and I'm just so exhausted. I can't go get it. It's 10 o'clock, which means it's like actually nine o'clock for us, but I am beat from the slopes, guys. That was very hard for me today. It was the first time I've done like physical activity in probably like four to five months. Uh, <laughs> what? It's true. And the snow was deep. It wasn't groomed, so it was like thick snow. And I was like, oh, my legs, my legs. But overall, such a nice day. I'm exhausted now though. I'm just so, so tired. So I'm gonna throw something on and sleepy time. Shout out to Nick in Seattle. Nick, overall. <laughs> Thanks for watching Nick in Seattle. We love you and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.